Summertime in Florida means a few things. It's hot, there's bugs, um, it's gonna storm just about every day, and it's almost time to take the boat out. Uh, this is my old Carolina skiff that I've had for as long as I can remember, well, sort of. I'll give you the whole story in a little bit, but um, today um, we're gonna be mounting this cooler in the back and using it as a seat because I took the bench seat that was there out when, um, when I was restoring it, I guess you could say. So uh, anyway, we're gonna do that today. This is a kit that I got from Amazon. I'm not really sure what the brand is. I don't know how to say that. Some Chinese junk, I'm sure, but let's get it thrown in there. Um, there's a couple things we gotta do just to make sure it's gonna be good, but uh, let's do it. So there's the cooler, there's the kit. Uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, there's just a few screws that goes into the floor and then I'm going to try to figure out if I can wrap it around the uh, handles or not. If I can't, I'll figure something out. But the first thing that I had to do was the, uh, the chase for the controls runs on the floor on these Carolina skiffs. They're, uh, they're pretty basic boats. They don't come with a whole lot of bells and whistles uh, when you buy them. And that's the way the uh, controls were ran through. So I had to think of something as a spacer and it's not pretty, but you're never gonna see it cause it's gonna be under the cooler. But that's basically just a leveling block from our old camper and a piece of cedar to kind of make up for the gap. So it's the same height as the wire chase there. So. Um, now we just got to set the cooler on top and figure out how it's going to sit and put the, um, or the screws into the floor. So there the cooler is sitting in place. Um, it's on top of this little spacer thing there. I just figured that would be a good idea because then the uh, water and stuff, you know, blood if we're fishing, will still be able to kind of rinse underneath it and it won't give me too much of an issue. Um, so basically we just got to put our little um tie down things on the floor figure out where they're going to go i'm going to drill uh, a pilot hole and then basically fill the hole with some um, caulking again don't know if it's the right stuff but it'll work i'm sure and then run the screws in and strap it down we're we'll good to go i always hate drilling holes in the bottom of a boat uh, or in a boat in general um, but anyway, I'll show you what we've got going on now. Uh, I've got my four holes on one side drilled already. I don't have the other side because I'm going to get this one done first and kind of cinch it up and then um, put the caulking and screw it down and everything. And then I'll move to the other side. So I'll show you. This weather is getting pretty bad, but um, we're going to keep pushing through. We're under my, well, it used to be my RV shelter. I'm using it. I parked my, uh, my truck under it now, but I'm using it to keep out of the weather because the storm is here. Anyway, I digress. So I've got my strap here. I've got my little uh, thing screwed to the floor there. You can kind of see some of the caulking sticking out. I'm uh, I'm really hopeful that these are stainless screws. They're probably not, and, uh, just judging by things that I've bought from China that usually aren't the best quality. But uh, if they start to rust, I've got a bunch of stainless screws I can use. I'm just trying to use what came with the kit, but let's strap this thing on and I'll show you how it looks. So yeah, this boat was my boat that I uh, grew up fishing on. I grew up, I grew up in the Keys, in the Florida Keys. Uh, we lived on the water and uh, I don't know how many hundreds or thousands of hours this boat had on it while I was growing up. Just from me and friends taking it out, whether we were uh, spear fishing or wakeboarding, this boat has definitely got its use. But anyway, so when I moved up here uh, to North Florida, it pretty much wound up. My parents, everybody all moved pretty pretty much at the same time. And uh, it sat in my dad's field behind their house for probably 10 years. And uh, I finally I asked my dad, I was like, dad, what are you going to do with that old skiff? Because it was just sitting, rotting away. So I finally convinced him. I was like, well, let me just get the boat from you and I will, um, I'll fix it up. I'll use it because now I've got two small kids and uh, I want them to have the same kind of, um, you know, comfort with the water and everything that I did growing up, which we don't live on the coast. We're about 45 minutes from the coast, but we're right around the corner from a river that uh, from the Swanee River um, really good fishing on there so anyway fixed it up I wish I would have been making videos when I was fixing it up because it was in rough shape if I can find a picture of what it looked like I will uh, 
I'll include that in this video so you can see, because it was really, um, it was in rough shape. But anyway, so now it's basically done. Uh, still want to put a radio on it maybe and um, fix a few things. This is the old Garmin that was on here when I was a kid, so it probably, uh, it works. I turned it on, but it's, I'm sure, not worth a damn. But anyway, let me get this thing all straightened out now. Okay, 20 minutes later, the storm is pretty much over. There's still some thunder around, but uh, yeah, power went out, came back on. I kind of hunkered down. I found my dog hiding under my workbench in my barn because he's apparently scared of lightning. Uh, and this never floods, but there's standing water all over the place now. So anyway, let me show you the, uh, the final finished product of what we got going on here. It's gonna be kind of noisy. Hopefully you can hear me well enough, but uh, but yeah, this is it here. So they're strapped down on both sides. Uh, I didn't think about it first was my uh, fuel tank. I needed room for it, which there's plenty enough room. It's got a little bit of a gap behind it still, but that's it there. Um, it moves around a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to worry about. Um, it's it's on there. Um, I thought about getting a igloo, I mean, a, a Yeti or an Arctic or something like that. But um, this is what we had growing up, and I wanted to have something that I could just leave in here all the time, don't have to worry about it. I've got some other nicer coolers that I'll keep like in my truck or something like that. We'll take camping and stuff, but, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Okay, it started raining again. I couldn't hear anything under that tin roof, but, uh, but yeah, so that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, I mean, it was really easy. It took just a few minutes to install. Um, quality seems okay. We'll see if it starts to rust or not. Um, but yeah, I've got a little bit more work to do on the boat. I want to finish the decals on the cowlings and stuff. Like I said, the boat was in terrible shape. It looks a lot better now. Um, but yeah, if you got something from this video, like it, comment if you have questions and feel free to subscribe if you want more content like this and, uh, or don't, it's up to you, but either way, we'll see you on the next one.